Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about making your Windows 11 computer look more like Windows 10 or Windows 7 for that matter. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we download anything, I recommend moving your taskbar icons to the far left side of your screen because it'll be better oriented for later in this tutorial. So just right click on a blank area of your taskbar and select taskbar settings. You want to scroll down and where it says taskbar behaviors, left click on that. And taskbar alignment, click inside the drop down and select left. That'll be better for later on in this video. And now you want to go on to a web browser, doesn't matter which one. And you're going to search for classic shell. Go ahead and search for that. But on the best results, search say classic shell. Go ahead and open that up. Select the Download Now button. Keep in mind there are a lot of paid options for Start Menu Replacements at the time of this recording, but it's very hard to find a free version of stuff. So this is a free program here. So go ahead and select the Windows Installer English. And go ahead and open that up. Select Next, and you want to agree to the license terms. Select Next again. Next, and then Install. Select Yes. Then select finish and close out of here. And now you want to open up the star menu, type in classic. When the best match is should say classic star menu settings, go ahead and open that up. Now if you want to replace the start button, you can by clicking inside of here and then select some default options they have. You can also do a custom one as well. I'm just going to select their arrow one here that they give us. And you can select Windows 7 style. Classic with two columns or just classic style, so more like Windows 2000 with a search bar at the bottom. Or Windows XP, I guess, as well, but again, with that search bar feature. So once you know your selection, go ahead and select OK. And then if you open up the start, it should make the change. Now, it won't look like a perfect replacement. Like, it won't look exactly the same, but it should function very good here. And you can change different appearance settings as well by right-clicking on the Start button and select Settings. And you can customize the Start menu. You can add different folders and links. Change the skin of it as well. If you want to do a classic skin, you could select OK. You open it up. It's going to have a more classic look to it. I really like this tool because, number one, it's free. And number two, it still seems to have very good compatibility even with Windows 11. I believe it's now open source, so you can still get updates for it. But I still think it's pretty cool. And like I said, you can get different start menu buttons if you want to change it. I'm sure there's ways you can do it. However, I would be satisfied just with this here. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I'd be pretty satisfied with this. So one little thing I should note about it is if you click on one of the corners of this start menu, it'll open up the old start menu. You just got to make sure you're clicking right on the button itself and it'll open up the classic menu. There's probably registry modifications we could do to hide the actual old start button because it seems to get overlays it here. But that's you know optional here, but that would be looking into something about actually hiding the start button you'd want to look for. But again, you know when you have Windows updates and stuff, it may bring it back. So I'd actually be comfortable using it the way I have it set up here. It's kind of a minor inconvenience. Not, not really, but... You know, I, I wouldn't mind using it in this way, so I don't think most of you guys should have a problem. If I'm okay with it, you guys should be okay with it. But like I said, pretty straightforward. Do a buzz, it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.